Well, this escalated quickly. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a look at the newly announced and released by the sounds of things Hot Toys One Six Scale Umbra Operative Arc Trooper Star Wars figure from um, I believe it's part of the video game masterpiece series or the VGM line from Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you've been following the channel, you clicked on this thumbnail. Fair play to you because you know I'm not a gamer. I don't get so. I, I'm just not a gamer. I've never been into you know PlayStations and Xbox and stuff like this. And even growing up, all my friends were. I just I don't know. I was more into kind of like physical media. I guess I'm more into like you know playing guitar or like I don't know, going to the gym or just even like collecting figures. A lot of my friends weren't into collecting figures, but a lot of my friends were into the the kind of nerdy side of uh, games and stuff like that which okay fair enough fight anyway um so i'm not a gamer i'm clearly not going to pick this up but i am a trooper collector and there are a few exceptions here in my collection i think there's two uh, exceptions in the trooper collections for example i've got two prequel figures but they're both troopers it's that uh, clone trooper from attack of the clones because it's just an amazing looking design and it fits nicely into the trooper collection and also commander cody again amazing looking armor i'm just have my troopers here to the side so i'm looking at them but in general no uh, I don't collect the, uh, I have no video game uh, figures, whether it's from the Spider-Man or Miles Morales game or the Spider-Man 2 game or whether it's from like this or uh, is it the is it Jedi Lone Survivor or whatever like that. I think they had a trooper out, kind of looked like a scout trooper with a, a few extra bits on it. Anyway, so yeah, this is a exclusive limited edition. Those buzzwords in collecting really get people's juices flowing, don't they? For me, not particularly. I collect things, uh, I've said mo more than one occasion, I've said multiple times in videos and shorts and streams and conversations, stuff like that, that my collecting is rooted in my love of film. So film, TV shows, uh, that kind of thing. So typically if I'm picking up one of these expensive figures, it's something that I love from a movie that I love or a TV show that I love that I'm, I'm you know, I'm thinking I'll, I'll, I'll like in a few years time as opposed to picking something up and just selling it. And I have several time to time. Anyway. This here would look great in, I think, any trooper collection, particularly if you're into clones. If you're into clones and you're a collector and you're 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 collecting Star Wars, this is probably for you. Now, I do think before I take a look at and look, do you know what? I'm gonna go through some of the details. So yeah, it's a Hot Toys figure, it's one six scale, it's from the Battlefront 2 Star Wars game, it's called an Umbra Operative Arc Trooper, 1500 pieces worldwide, they're all gone to waitlist on Sideshow, if you want to click on the waitlist there, if you, uh, yeah, I doubt it will convert, but you never know, some people cancel, some people cancel, it could happen, but uh, if, you're, if you're not in, you can't win, $265, let's take a look at some of these, and before we take a look at some of these, I think this is a good way of doing the exclusives. I don't think it's a good way of doing exclusives. You take a really popular figure, let's say you have the Robert Pattinson, the Batman, or even like um, the latest Christian Bale one, they keep going back and they keep going, uh, making improvements at DX19, or like a Superman figure or a Darth Vader. I don't think it's good to put them behind a 1500 worldwide um, limit. The reason is, well, if you look at Hot Toys' point of view, they're a company, they make money, those figures will always sell. Your Iron Mans, your Spider Mans, your Darth Vader's, your Luke Skywalkers, those figures are, there's numerous different versions of them because they do sell. I know I, I'm guilty of it as well, you see another, not another Spider Man or not another Iron Man, but then again, so it's all like that and then they make the Spider Man or the Iron Man or the Darth Vader that you want and then you're delighted. So with these kind of exclusives, I think it's probably good that this one was an exclusive because not everyone's gonna want this, to be honest, I literally, I think I've, I've heard people mention ARC Troopers before, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but some ARC Troopers are actually named Troopers, whereas this one is just a generic Trooper, or the, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers? I think, I'm not sure. Correct me in the comment section now. Pittsburgh have a football team, an NFL football team. They are uh, black, and red, black and yellow, and I, I'm not sure if they're called Steelers or Stillers. I think they're called Steelers, and then... If you're from Pittsburgh, you pronounce it Stillers? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know. But I know that they are black and yellow. And how I know this is because in The Dark Knight Rises, the scene with Bane in the football stadium, they got a lot of the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Stillers fans to uh, you know, come down to some stadium. And I think they actually did it in Pittsburgh. And they got as many as possible with their jerseys because they were the same uh, color, the black and yellow were the color of the uh, the fictitious football team, the, the Gotham Wildcats, I think they were called. And then, of course, you'd see Giants and stuff like that, whatever. 
Christopher Nolan, that's his thing. He kind of practical effects on tenets, not practical to do so. And then you add in the CJ. That's why they flipped a truck uh, in the middle of Chicago for uh, the Dark Knight. Yeah, the Dark Knight movie. Anyway, completely on a side note. But coming back to this, not everyone's going to want this. I've heard people mention Arc Troopers before, but this is the type of figure that it's just not something I think people were... No, there's no think about it. No one really wanted this. People were always saying, like, reissue the Mark 46 before it got reissued. People wanted uh, Tobey Maguire from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man from No Way Home, or, or at least a reissue from them Spider-Mans. Um, there's people crawling out for, like, you know, the, the Kenobi Vader when it was, you know, the cracked face. C-3PO. So there's loads of different ones that you, you hear a lot that people want. Like, for example, if they re reissue the DX-13, I've got the DX-13, it's fantastic, but if they reissue the DX-13, that's one I think people want. I've heard a lot of people crying out for Colonial Marines or, like, reissues of the original Predator or, um, the, um, the, you know, a, a decent Ripley or, or a Sarah Connor. There are things that make sense, and of course there's more recent things as well, but this here, I don't think anyone really wanted it. And, yeah, let's take a look at it anyway, but I do think this is a good thing making this limited, because even though not everyone's going to want it, um, it's not like you're limiting a super popular figure like uh, an Iron Mark, Man Mark III or Return the Jedi Darth Vader or um, the Spider-Man Final Swing Suit from No Way Home. They're popular figures, they will sell. There's no point in making them limited because you're just going to piss everyone off. And also, uh, you're going to limit the amount of money you can make as a company wouldn't make sense. But this here does make sense because... The people that want to collect something and have something that other people don't have, personally I'm not really like that, I collect things I like and that's it, I don't care if everyone has them or no one has them, and I don't really typically, I just don't collect to resell. But this type of figure here is the prime example of one I think it makes sense to limit it. Anyway, there are my two cents in this, so from what I understand this went on sale yesterday, I think it was 11am, um... I, I don't know, it was 11 a.m. West Coast time or whatever, in, in uh, America or whatever, and uh, uh, it was the whole sideshow, join the waitlist or whatever, but they're, they're gone. They're gone. They're, they're, they're sold out and uh, the waitlist and all that. Let's take a look at this. Sorry, this, if you're still watching, I commend you. Okay, so this is the Pittsburgh Stiller uh, Arc um, Umbra Trooper. I've heard a lot of people say, you know what, it looks really cool though, doesn't it? Eh. I guess I'm just not that mad into clones. I think my loyal my loyalties lie to the original trilogy and just the, the regular Stormtrooper. That's why I have joined the Five of First with the regular uh, TK kit. Uh, I love the Scout Troopers. And then even like, in terms of Disney Star Wars, I love the design of the Remnant Trooper, but that's for basically a busted up Stormtrooper. Um, the, the Shore Trooper is amazing, love that. But with the clones, I think they're cool. But this wouldn't be the colour combination that I go for. But then again, if I was a diehard gamer, which I'm not, and I was playing Battlefront 2, I would imagine I would appreciate it a lot more. So, right, he's got the kind of black and yellow design. I believe this comes with three different helmets. Um, it has kind of two different pauldrons, which is kind of unique as well. I, I think some of the... I remember something from the Clone Wars. I can't remember who it was. Maybe the guy with the face tattoo. I've watched all the Clone Wars, but I've only watched them once, and once was enough, to be honest. Um, I may go back and watch uh, some of the key episodes, which I did quite enjoy. But I remember there was definitely one of the clone troopers. I think it was one of the named tro troopers. It could be... Was it... Was the guy with the face tattoos? Um, and I had two pauldrons. So I don't think it was Rex, but I can't remember. Let me know if you know. Um, he comes with a few different blasters, I believe, so he's got, I really like this long blaster, it's kind of similar to the Cody one, why am I looking over here, he's not posed with it, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Cody comes with that as well, kind of a medium sized blaster, I don't know the names on these, unfortunately, if it was the E11 or E22, I know, because I, I, I like both of them, I really like both of them, that long rifle is awesome though, I really, really like that. Like, it's a, it is it, it is cool looking, but it's just, I, I, I find it, I'm not excited about this at all, and I don't think it's that... I think I'd appreciate it more if I played the game, but having not played the game, I just see this as another clone with a repaint. Just very unenthusiastic about this, to be honest. Just zero interest in it. But I do think it was good that they chose this to limit worldwide to 1500 pieces because then the collectors that like that limited nature, why, they should number them, they should really number them. If they're doing this 1500, just bloody number them. Just look, the backpack is kind of interesting here. I'm just seeing here as well. So you've got, but I, in fairness, there's a lot of detail here. So you've got this kind of 
the canister that would be found on you know, a lot of like uh, normal stormtroopers. Uh, it's also found on the back of scout troopers. Uh, not similar versions. They're white and they're they're a bit kind of wider, but you know you get the gist of it. A few of these um, little kind of um, storage pieces on the belt, as I presume they're pleather. You've got dual holsters, kind of on the thighs, the back of the thighs there, and the blasters. You got two handheld blasters. You got the kind of medium-sized blaster, and then the kind of long rifle. And three helmets, pretty cool. So these are so they have the different styles of helmet there as well. The one on the right always kind of reminds me of Cody. I'm just looking at Cody here, and it is quite similar. Um, I'm looking it has an antenna on the back right, a kind of circular piece on the right. It has the kind of visor as well. It is similar. I know there's differences, obviously, in the paint job. I think the mold is quite similar. And then I was looking at these originally and I thought, okay, it's phase one and two, but it's not quite because I don't think the, I'm looking at the middle one, I don't think that original one had the, the fin on the top. So they're kind of hybrids, they're different versions. They're not in, so I don't think they're straightforward phase one and phase two. Yeah, look, all in all, i just not interested in this at all. And uh, yeah, but look at, it's kind of cool that they're doing things. Maybe if this was you, you're a gamer. Um, do you know what? I'll summarize it. This is for the Hot Toys collectors that get absolutely everything. Not even sure if they exist anymore because they're making so much. But definitely for the Hot Toys Star Wars collector, those completionists, or for the gamers who played the game and absolutely love this. That's as much as I can say about this. That's the end of the video. If you want to support the channel, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, consider becoming a channel member, and you can also follow me on Instagram and X. That's it, that's the end of the video, see you in the next one, good luck.